دبي تعطيك امان وظل القياده الرشيده اللي فيها اللي هي حببت الناس والعالم كله في هالبلد فانا بالفعل فخور بنفسي وبفخور بهالدوله الطيبه لبناني انا شخصيا ابن مصر قيام على البلد ليل مع نهار تركيزي ما كنا وصلنا اللي وصلنا انا والله عمري من عمري خمس سنين وانا تحت في البوش وهذا يعني اللي ماله ماضي الله يرحم ابوي زايد ماله حاضر فاليوم الكل عايش سواء موافد او مواطن نحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى ان نحن في امان وفي استقرار وفي احلى يعني وين ما تروح تلقى انك انت بين اخوانك وبين اهلك وبين ربعك وبين عشيرتك وبين الجميع Welcome everyone with your program Perdos of Union, who invest the most successful story inside UAE. Today we are from Emil Qaywain City with a new customer with a new successful story, Mr. Abu Ahmad. He's the owner for Abu Ahmad Steel and Aluminium. You are welcome. Thank you so much for the greeting and you guys most welcome. From the beginning, Mr. Abu Ahmad, please you can introduce yourself. I have started this business from past six years now and so far it's going successful. Alhamdulillah. I faced some issue in the beginning since I was new into business, but before I start business, I already had an idea how to face the problem, how to tackle the situation, and with the good grace, things worked according to my plan. Alhamdulillah for that. 
So, so far it's going good. And in the beginning, yes, I face issues like uh, the customers. Whenever you start any, any business, the main key for you is the customers. How do you get customers? So since I wasn't from a steel and aluminum field, I was into electronics background and sales basically. So steel, I wasn't having any idea. So you need to always think different than your competitors so that you get a key in the market and you start the business. Mr. Bahmad, of course, from the beginning, when any kind of business, when you start, you have some challenge and difficult. Tell us about this challenge and difficult and how you solution. Steel and business, steel and aluminum is huge. Fabrication is huge business. You can do anything with steel and aluminum. So as I mentioned, in the, the difficulty what I faced in the beginning was uh, people doing the standard things in the market. When I see my competitor, they do standard things. I see a guy on the right and left, both of them, they do almost same. So me, as a, you know, as a steel guy, I always wanted to do something different in the market in order to get customers. So I started doing, you know, like in the steel sheds, new modern parking sheds, uh, sitting area, and etc. etc. Now, if we want to talk more detail about uh, Abu Ahmad steel and aluminium, what kind of service? As I mentioned earlier, you always wanted to do something different than the people. Since you know Dubai people here, they're huge crazy fan of cars. They have expensive cars here, which is unbelievable. You know, you see car millions, more than that. They spend a huge in the car. So for me, my concept was actually, when they have expensive car, they park their luxury car in the home. So the parking shed was very normal for the people, you know, the normal standard aluminium parking. So my concept and my idea was to build a structure where you park the luxurious cars. It should look good with the lightings, some decor, some decoration in the front. So my concept, I completely changed the car parking to a modern parking. So this is the kind of, you know, work we do where people, when they park their car, the place should, the luxury car should look good with the luxury par car parking. This is one thing. And secondly, we even make, you know, the gardens, f uh, people when they relax, the, our Arab people, when they relax in their home, you know, the garden area, we make their sitting area. That also with the decoration. With the, you know, beautiful decoration, with the lights. So this kind of more, I have, we have focused, Abu Ahmad still, we have focused more to the uh, Arab people uh, villas. So we have more focus to that. I know. Steel aluminum, as I said, it's huge. You can do anything. You can make buildings, you can make windows. But for my focus, rather than focusing in the building, I have focused to the Arab local people's area. So this is why this is the you know my main key of work. Mr. Abu Ahmad, if we want to talk about who is support you, who will be with you from the beginning till now to get your successful, to get your dream? I think this credit goes to my customers. 
the reason why whenever I get any project, I don't look project is small or big. I give a project for 5,000, I get a project for 50,000. I give both, you know, the importance I give to both of them equally. I don't see this project is 5,000, this project is 50,000. I, I keep the same level of, you know, importance. And for me, I think my credit mostly goes to my customers because whenever I work with my customers, I make them satisfied. When the customer is satisfied, you don't need to do marketing, I guess. I, for example, I have given one good service to one of my customer. Let's say his name is Abdullah. I finished the project with him. If my work is good, for sure Abdullah will go and pass my message to his friends, to his neighbors, to his work. Maybe he will be working in a government sector. So he will, you know, spread my word to them. That like I have one guy, Abu Ahmad Steel. His work is very nice, Mumtaz. So I get one more customer from there. So I get a chain, you know. The chain is passing. Every day my, my chain is increasing. One, two, three, four. Like there was a day I had a follower in Instagram, maybe five, ten. Today I have more than 1,000 followers. So this is how, you know, I'm improving. I think day by day I'm improving. And inshallah, I get one day one million followers. Mr. Abu Ahmad, you get your dream, you get your successful. What mean of successful from your side? Uh, a true successful man, according to me, as I mentioned earlier, is I think it's my customers. I should not, you know, lose the hope of my customers. They should always believe on me. They should always believe on Abu Ahmad and Steel. Since the service is what I'm giving, my always aim is to, you know, maintain this service so that, you know, they should not get disheartened, always. As I mentioned, if a customer refer my number to any of his colleague or his friend, if he should call me, I should maintain the service, I should maintain the quality of the material I'm using, I should maintain the, of course, the pricing. So that if the same friend goes back to the guy and ask him, yes, I have given you the number of Abu Ahmad, how was the experience? He should reply as, nice, very good. He should not reply, no, that guy price was very high, the material was not good. So this is something, you know, I should not see, you know, let's say the pricing. I should ignore the pricing. Always I should not think about the price. I should think about the service and the name I'm making in the market. This name, to make this name in the market, I've spent maybe six years. So I should not make one small mistake so that I ruin my six years. I should continue this for more coming years like 10, 15, 20 years so that we grow more and more with the help of our customers. Of course, from the beginning, any kind of business, when you start, you have some strategy, you have some plan. Tell us about your future plan. Yes, thank you so much. For me, I think we are already improving day by day, as I mentioned earlier. For me, yes, I, for now, we are in a day, we cover two projects, two to three projects. So for my plan for 2022 is, to increase my labors. Your main asset in any company is your labors. You should always treat your labor as your brother. This is my strategy. I have worked in many companies, so many companies I worked. I have seen ups and downs with your fighting with your boss, fighting with your owners. So me, whenever I was, you know, thinking, whenever I'll start my own business, I'll be an owner. I'll be, you know, a friend and brother with my labors. Because labor is the one who's making money for you. You're, you're not the one who's making money for you. You can just go and place an order, take advance from the customer, that's it. Who is working? The laborers who is working. The laborers working for you in the sun, eight hours, 10 hours. So you should always take care of your laborers. And yes, if my laborers are with me, inshallah, there will, there will be a day, I will cover six to seven sites one day. Now we want from your side, from your experience, motivation message for young people, anyone he want to enter on business, what you told him from your experience? Thank you so much for the question. I think uh, according to me, whenever you start any new business, this message is for the new generation, people, the young people who wants to start business, you need to have proper strategy, plan and focus. You should not lose focus. And you need to stay away from negative people. Negative people always, if you listen to them, you will be always negative. So you need to stay motivated and then focus, as I mentioned. Thank you, Mr. Abu Ahmad. Now we want to send thanks for message for all Sheikh and leader here inside UAE. 
Thank you so much for the question. For me, I think this is the safest place I have ever seen in my life. I have also visited other countries, but comparing that and here, I think it's a big difference. For me, my workshop is located in remote area. Over there, the streets are not that good. There is no cameras. But Alhamdulillah, we keep, this, we, we keep the steel outside like for months, years. There is a nobody, you know, touching my steels and stealing it. This is the, the reason I'm sharing this because this is one of the reason that we are safe here. So that's it. Thank you very much. We are so happy to meet you today. You are a great example for our program Perlos of Union from Samalayan TV. Thank you. Thank you. Dear viewer, this is the end of the episode for our program Perlos of Union. Waiting us for next week with a new successful story with your program Perlos of Union. Thank you. دبي تعطي كمان وظل القيادة الرشيدة اللي فيها اللي هي حببت الناس والعالم كله في هالبلد فأنا بالفعل فخور بنفسي وبفخور بهالدولة الطيبة لبناني أنا شخصيا ابن مصر قيام على البلد ليل مع نهار تركيزي ما كنا وصلنا اللي وصلنا أنا والله عمري من عمري خمس سنين وأنا تحت البوش وهذا يعني اللي ماله ماضي الله يرحم أبوي زايد ماله حاضر فاليوم الكل عايش سواء موافد أو مواطن نحمد الله سبحانه وتعالى أن نحن في أمان وفي استقرار وفي أحلى يعني وين ما تروح تلقى أنك أنت بين أخوانك وبين أهلك وبين ربعك وبين عشيرتك وبين الجميع I'm <laughs> a